I'm Professor Lenny Ko. Uh, I'm the director of uh, the Energy, Environment and Sustainability uh, Research Center at the University of Sheffield. I'm based at the management school. Research in energy and environment is a very multidisciplinary area. So we work very closely with uh, scholars from uh, various disciplines. Uh, for example, one of the key projects that I'm leading at the moment is in the area of uh, low carbon supply chain. And that is a strategic initiative and collaboration between four universities in the region uh, to uh, develop a new way of helping businesses and industry to decarbonize their supply chain. And as part of this project, we are also developing a new tool whereby businesses will be able to use uh, to identify their hotspots and evaluate different types of interventions in order to reduce uh, not just their carbon footprint, but also evaluating impact on their economic performance. We've also um, do a lot of work at the consumer and domestic end of energy consumption, because I think that's often a neglected part of, of, of the, uh, the picture that the requirements for energy are actually driven by demand and, and so uh, perhaps a very good example of work we've done is work on improved domestic refrigeration um, in some senses um, not apparently a very scientifically leading edge technology but actually if you look at the numbers and you look at the implications of relatively modest improvements in domestic refrigeration and the effect that has when you aggregate it up over the UK population very significant contribution to carbon reduction could be achieved. What we are doing is uh, also fits in very nicely with the government agenda, uh, whereby by 2050 we have to reduce our CO2 by 80%. And in order to really contribute to this particular ambitious objective, it is not a trivial task. So in order to address this issue, uh, it is no longer adequate for researcher or scientists to work within their own lab. That is no longer adequate in today's complex environment organizations are, are starting to feel the pressure to be able to reduce uh, their carbon footprint uh, because of uh, the pressure uh, from their client, especially the big uh, PLC uh, organization that will force and require their SMEs uh, and businesses on the upstream of their supply chain to comply with certain green requirements so that they will be able to buy and contract with them. So this becomes a requirement whereby those businesses along the supply chain will start to think how they are going to prepare for this demand. Reducing carbon footprint and trying to instigate new environmental measures uh, in the supply chain is not about just identifying investment required uh, in terms of capital requirement in order to reduce uh, the carbon footprint. But there are a lot of activities and initiatives and operations that can be done in a low-cost manner. And this will be particularly relevant for SMEs who are uh, within a resource constraint to be able to also benefit from this initiative. So what we are doing is a whole range and broad spectrum of different ways whereby different types of businesses uh, in different resource environment will be able to use the results of our research to benefit their company and their supply chain.